In this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working on area and perimeter of similar polygons. In example A, it says the two rectangles below are similar. Find the scale factor and the ratio of the perimeters. So the scale factor is the ratio between any two corresponding sides. So for example, 24 and 16 are corresponding sides. So the scale factor is 24 over 16, which you can reduce by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 8 to 3 over 2. So if the scale factor is 3 over 2, it means that the perimeter ratio must also be 3 over 2. And that's because the ratio of the perimeters is always the same as the scale factor for any two similar polygons. We could check this by actually figuring out the perimeters of each and dividing them and seeing if the ratio reduces to 3 over 2. So in the smaller rectangle, I'm just adding in the other sides. The perimeter of the smaller rectangle would be 10 plus 16 plus 10 plus 16, which is 52. And for the larger rectangle, we again add up all four sides and get 78. So the perimeter ratio is 78 over 52, which does reduce to 3 halves. All right, let's go to example B. Find the area of each rectangle from example A and then find the ratio of the areas. So remember in example A, our scale factor ratio was 3 over 2. That means that the area ratio should be the scale factor squared, so 3 over 2 squared, or 9 over 4. So let's go back to example A and test if the area ratio is actually 9 over 4. So going back to example A, to find the area of each rectangle, we just want to multiply base times height. So that means for the smaller rectangle, it's 160 units squared because that's 10 times 16. And for the larger rectangle, it's 360 units squared because that's 24 times 15. Oops, that should be area. So the area ratio is 360 over 160, which reduces to 9 over 4, which is, again, 3 over 2 squared. So it makes sense with our earlier observation that the scale factor was 3 over 2 and the perimeter ratio is 3 over 2. All right, and let's go to example C. Find the ratio of the areas of the rhombi below. The rhombi are similar. Okay, so the ratio of the areas is always the scale factor squared. So let's figure out the scale factor. To do that, we look for corresponding sides. For example, 3 and 5, or we could use 6 and 10. Even though 3 and 5 aren't actually sides of the rhombus, as long as you use any two corresponding parts, it's fine. So that means that the scale factor will be 5 over 3. So therefore, the area ratio will be 5 over 3 squared, which is 25 over 9.